Kia Rio 2015 why is it on YouTube and that wherever I type in Kia Rio they come back with Forte or Frontier or whatever why not Kia Rio that's the one I'm interested in that's all right okay and this is the little project for today replace the AC system uh, this one the compressor took a dump and because the compressor has taken a dump that means uh, we replace the condenser as well and uh, the expansion valve the expansion valve is way down the back there a bit of a pain to get to but hopefully won't be too bad condenser obviously here in the front and compressor uh, hang on down there so we'll get to the compressor from underneath um, obviously we'll have to take the belt off first of all so uh, we'll have to release the tension might even have to take the front wheel off but I don't think so uh, but in order to get to the condenser you have to remove the front bumper yeah you know pain in the ass this lot but there you go um, there is a nut bolt hang on let's take you around this way and show you where that one is There it is there. There's one on the other side as well. And then there are clips in here. You yank the bumper out. And under here, as you can see, you've got these plastic pee pee poppers. And that has to come off as well. Um, and of course, they will all break because they're plastic and they're shit. Plastic cars today. Shit, shit, shit. All right, let's get on um, and get it done gonna be a long day first thing to do remove this cover now once you have removed this piece underneath you will find even more of those plastic pieces of shit so now we have to get these out then the bumper will lift up let's do that Oh, I, I did forget to mention that uh, there are clips oops, underneath here. Um, and if you've still got your whole, um, oh, what the hell do you call the damn thing? Other piece of plastic shit underneath. <laughs> You'll need to remove those to each side. This one doesn't have them. Then we come in here and this is the condenser we've got to get to. And uh, there are four bolts across the top here then that piece will come out then you lift this plastic piece out here to get it out the way then you can lift up the condenser obviously once you have undone these and of course your system must be empty otherwise it's going to go pshht all over you and there's nothing worse than being pshht on although there are some people that like that now do note on this side to remove this plastic piece here there is a bolt there that you have to undo uh, it's a 10 millimeter don't forget that one you'll struggle to get this out otherwise well in fact you won't succeed ha 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 okay next undo these two they're both 10 millimeter i'd say i swear you could probably take one of these cars apart with a 10 millimeter spanner <laughs> okay they're disconnected now don't forget to replace the seals don't ever shortchange yourself with that because it will fucking will leak if you don't now it's just a matter of lifting this up and out of the way and with it it takes the dryer so you get a nice new dryer as well at the same time uh, this one is not too battered but i can tell you now that the inside are going to be clogged these veins now they're so thin that when the compressor dies you don't screw around just replace it all it's well worth the extra few dollars and your handy hint for the day in order to reduce the odds of you breaking those plastic clips off the radiator what i tend to do is it's got some wd-40 on there and then you should be able to just pull these tabs back uh, now the the bottom one doesn't have an edge on it the top one does you see oh, i don't know if you can see that actually you see there's a there's a peg peg a tooth more like a tooth no hang on i'm sorry you're just trying to get you Right position here so you can see that there is a little tooth there so you've got to make sure you pull it back far enough 
Okay, and you've got to do it both sides at the same time, I believe. Hang on, let me just check on this side. Not sure about this side, in all honesty. Yeah, it's the same there. Okay, so you've got to make sure you pull that back. And, and you can do one side at a time. Now, looking at this condenser again now closely, you can see a lot of these veins have been bent back, and that obviously reduces its efficiency, um, which is another good reason to replace it. Also, do note on the radiator is all this crap. Whilst you're here, vacuum all this out, get it all out of the way. It's better, better for the cooling because all that crap that's in there is preventing it from cooling properly. Okay, uh, also whilst, whilst you are here, it is easier to get to the compressor bolts. So it's a good idea to in undo those now while you're here. Um, not sure if I'll be able to get the whole compressor out whilst I'm here. And it has to come out downwards, I believe. Yeah, that's going to be a, a little tricky to get out, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Bit of jiggery and a pokery again. All right. Okay, let's uh, get all of these undone. Uh, vacuum this radiator replace the seals on here on the sorry replace the seals here put the new condenser in uh, change the compressor for the new one but those are the major jobs and then get to the uh, expansion valve which is there well, actually it's behind that so that's going to be fun to get to <laughs> Okay. All right, just to let you know, there is no belt tensioner on this car. It is done via this bracket on the alternator that tensions the belt. So you have to loosen the nut here, loosen this here, and then also <clears throat> that bolt there, that one there. That is a 14. These are, were 12 millimeter. Um, again, I just put some um, WD-40 on there just to make them move easily. Uh, you will, of course, have to loosen the uh, or remove the electrical connection from the compressor. You will also need to undo the bolts that mount the compressor. They, again, are 12 millimeter. So there's four of those. And, uh, well, that's it now. Let's get those undone. And get that compressor out of there once I've got the belt out of the way and it's already loose as you can see Do note on the compressor that bolt there that is sticking out of the compressor Does not come all the way out Because it hits the shroud. Uh, sorry, not the shroud the um, uh, Overflow bottle now. Yeah, you could take off the overflow bottle if you want But personally, I'll just leave that bolt in there because it's loose and then when I put it back, put the new compressor in, I'll just put the bolt in before I offer it up. You do it your way, I'll do it mine. Okay, new condenser is now in with obviously the new dryer. Clips are all good. Uh, put these on now. These are the, the, the two hoses that were there on the condenser. Um, don't forget when you're putting these together to generously lubricate them with pag oil don't use anything else use pag oil that's what the ac system's for it uses pag oh, and a little aside uh really not necessarily to do with ac but the ac seals the green ones they seem to be the best things going since sliced bread i don't even bother with orange or brown anymore i just use the green ac ones because they're seem to be impervious to uh, just about everything. All right, so uh, again, uh, it's all now latched down. Next thing is the uh, um, compressor in there. I've got to make those connections. They're, they're, they're both here. This is one of them. And the other one's hiding somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's this big ass mofo here. Get those connected. Uh, put the electrical connection on, put the belt on. Uh, what's after that, Gary? Oh, I got to do the, um, <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can, you can, you can do this, Gary. You know, you can. 
expansion valve. Oh shit. Yeah, and, I, and I'll, I'll show you that before I um, close this video so that at least you have an idea what's going on. My God, those headlights are in a crappy state, aren't they? Maybe there's something I can do to help them with that. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. It's, uh, that's not why it's here, but uh, it's a young lady and she works nights, so I'd rather she could see where she's going better, and I'm sure her dad would as well. Compressor is in. Um, I did have to steal the bracket off the old compressor because the one they supplied was in the wrong direction. In other words, it was pointing forwards and then the electrical connection would not reach. So, you know, don't throw shit away until the job is complete. Um, I also had to turn this, <laughs> sorry, this clip here around because it was slicing my wrist. I'm now going to put it back in the original position. Always best to leave them in the original position. And then start to wind this up and get the belt tension back on. Then we will go back here and attack the... Uh, if I can get a brain cell engaged. Expansion valve replaced. All right, so I can finish this video up. Um, I'm gonna just going to tell you what's next next is to remove that expansion valve and replace it with a new one obviously um, including new seals and this is the new expansion valve here as you can see two nice little holes and one center bolt there which you can see clearly on that one then it's a matter of charge oh sorry vacuuming the system down for about an hour I'll, I'll give it a good good uh, suck down to make sure we get anything out that should not be there uh, then it's charge it up with the correct amount of um, R134 uh, it should be noted that the compressor when it arrived was already charged with PAG oil um, there was a label on it telling me that so there's nothing I have to do there um, what do we need in the way of Freon? Oh, it's on that label up there. Hang on a second. I can't read it, but you can see it. I will read it before I charge it up. I think it's just over a can. Oh, hang on. I know you're so bitchy, bitchy, bitchy. All right, what do we got here? What does it say? Let's read it properly so everybody knows. Uh, 0.98 of a pound to 1.9 of a pound. Uh, the cans, I believe, are 12 ounce cans. So it's a can and a bit. Okay. Cans, 12 ounces, 16 ounces in a pound. At least when I went to school, they were. Uh, the pag hole's already done. Pag 46. Yup. That's already in there, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, that's it. Uh, charge it up, and um, let's hope it freezes uh, her little nuts off. Well, she doesn't have nuts, but let's hope it keeps her nice and cool. Nothing like keeping a young lady cool. That's it for now. Get out in the garage, go do your own shit.